Hey guys, so your happy girl Jenny here and today's video is very exciting because I'm going to answer a question that I get asked all the time and that is how to find cheap flights. I've used these tools to book a flight from the US to Norway for about $300 and it's actually how I saved about $250 on this last trip from Nebraska to Copenhagen, Thailand. My number one trick, my number one thing, the very, very, very first thing that I do is I get on Skyscanner.com. It's an app, you can download it to your phone, it's a website, you can go check out the website. Um, Skyscanner is awesome because unlike um, the other ones, Kayak and Expedia, I don't even use those, so I don't even know the names. It actually searches all these tiny little airlines that aren't big and well known, and it's going to help you find these obscure webs uh, airlines that are going to fly for cheaper. Skyscanner is super cool because if you're not picky about where you're going, say you want to just go to Asia somewhere, um, you can just go in there, type your exiting airport, so I usually fly out of Denver, Denver, Colorado, so I would type Denver, and then I can click Asia, and then I can click for the month of September, and I can see all the different places in Asia that I can fly, what they, approximately what they cost, and then you can get in there and, and really check it out. If you really, really, really don't care, you can actually type everywhere. Most people are more, more picky than anywhere or everywhere or any, any day of the month but those options are available to you right on there on Skyscanner. Second tip is you should be somewhat flexible in your dates. I usually end up flying on a Tuesday or a Thursday as opposed to the weekend, so you're gonna get a little bit cheaper there. Not only is it good to uh, be flexible with what days you're flying out, but also what airports you're flying out of. To fly out of Denver to Europe or to Asia, it's still pretty far, so you're Better off searching in like Florida or LA or New York or something like that. So I always check those flights. So for example, when I was flying to Thailand, I had to get to Bangkok essentially. So instead of just searching Denver to Bangkok, I searched Denver to LA, Denver to New York, Denver to Florida, um, all these different major hubs. And then from those hubs, I searched to Bangkok. Maybe you don't even fly to Bangkok. Um, I flew from Nebraska to Denver, Denver to LA, LA to Tokyo, Tokyo to Bangkok. I know that's a lot of flights, but think about it. I kind of went literally on the other side of the world from little town Nebraska. It, it's not a super easy thing to do anyway. If you're flying out of Chicago or LA, it's a little bit um, easier. Okay, next thing. Pack carry-on, pack light. It's the best option for you. If I would have paid for a check bag on every one of those flights, I think I could have bought a new bag and everything inside of it once I actually got to the place where I was going. My, my last piece of advice, which is my golden nugget, my favorite thing in the whole wide world, um, is the Norwegian airline. Their planes are absolutely fantastic and you can save a ton of money. You have to go to a very, very specific page on their website that not everybody knows about. What you can do is you can search from Florida all the destinations that they fly to from Florida and you can see how much it will cost you to fly to that place in that month and you can search months in advance. You can fly to uh, Denmark for $150. Okay, so for $150 spend a couple days in Denmark then get a connecting flight to wherever you're going wherever you want to eventually end up worth it. I just told you guys like I just told you all my flying secrets. Um, I hope that they help you. I hope that you get to get that ticket. And I know what you're thinking, tickets are expensive, I can't do it, but it's not true. You can get a plane ticket to pretty much anywhere, from pretty much anywhere, for about $1,000. That's the same as if you saved $20 a week. So what is that? Two Starbucks coffees and one meal out. Anyway, it's possible, it's doable, I can't wait to see you, I hope you buy a plane ticket um, soon. You can subscribe below for more travel tips and more random videos from my travels, um, and let me know what questions you have. And remember, you are truly awesome.